hello guys today in this video i am going to discuss about angular history so as you know this will be the chapter 3 of this angular video series so before proceeding i would like to request you to subscribe my channel if you have not done that yet so angular was initially known as angular js and it was launched in 2nd 20 october 2010 i mean 2010 and it was launched by google but after like a few years it means, it means after few years it discontinued now okay and that means google is not going to provide any update to angular js applications nowadays okay and angular js was completely written in the javascript and it was known as a part of mean stack front end development okay so here mean means here the m relates to mongodb e relates to express.js e relates to angular for front end and n relates to node.js for api okay and after so it as you know it was version 1 for angular or 1.x one, 1 that means any subsequent version for version 1 okay or any updates so as the second angular 2 which got launched in 2016 that means you can see here till 2016 from 2010 it was only angular 1.1 1. 1 or 1. Point something version okay so angular 2 was the major change over angular 1 and it was completely different and re re rewrite of the code from the scratch so from the angular 2 it is known as only angular okay now js is remo removed from the back here to create the differentiation between angular js and angular version 2 okay and it was the first angular version which was uh, like released with the typescript okay so after angular 2 google announced angular 4 google skipped angular 3 okay so it it was uh, it was announced on 13 december 2016 and the main reason to skip this uh, angular 3 was the the reason was the like router package version 3.3.0 was already released with angular 2 so that i mean to resolve the confusion or to remove the confusion between the users of angular so google uh, decided that not to release angular with the version 3 so that's why angular directly came with the angular 4 or version 4 okay so but yeah there are a lot of backward compatibility was there with angular so angular 4 was completely backward compatible with angular 2 and it was having http client library for creating api calls with http requests okay so next thing it was also included like new router lifecycle events for guard and resolvers okay and there are also many new events uh, for the lifecycle so those are like guard check start guard check and and resolve start resolve and and also like means it, it was basically also known as navigation start and there was also an option to disable the animations on the basis of conditions so after angular version 4 google introduced angular version 5 and it got released in november 1 2017 so it was the first version of angular which started support for progressive web apps it is also uh, inbuilt optimizer for optimizing the code and it, it was also like uh, having improvement related to the ui designs uh, which was using material design okay so after angular 5 angular launched angular 6 in may 4 2018 and it was basically focused on its futuristic to or you can say addition of multiple tools to make angular more usable and more feature proof okay so there was a lot of tools in the angular which was like ng update ng add angular elements angular material and ctk components okay there was also a starter component for angular material there are also work uh, cli workspaces and there are a lot of library supports three secable providers animations performance improvement and it was also having the support of rxgs version 6 okay so after the addition of that and uh, features in the angular 6 uh, after 
few like months angular again released uh, like what released angular 7 and which was released in the october 18 2018 so there was a lot of things here like improvement that was the application performance updates was there there was also virtual scrolling uh, of options it, it, it is basically a tool okay for the ui and there was also improved accessibility of selects that means there are selects okay from the drop down there was some improvement of accessibility and also there was support content projection using web standard for custom elements okay so that means user can now also create their custom elements okay to make the angular more supportive for web applications and also it was having dependency updates regarding like typescript 3.1 support it was there and there was also rxjs 6.3 support and it was also having the backward compatibility of node 8 while well, it was the current version of node was 10 which was recommended at that time but yeah, it was also having the backward compatibility support with node 8 after angular 7 google released angular 8 on may 28 2019 and it was also having a lot of improvements okay and new things or new features over there so the first thing was different loading for application code okay that means uh, it was having improvement with the lazy loading okay and it was also having dynamic imports for lazy routes that means the routes which was not like required during the loading time of application then that should be loaded later uh, according to the requirement okay so also there was a web worker and which was having typescript 3.4 version support there was also the introduction of angular ivy as a opt-in preview and includes okay so it was just a starting of ivy so the next improvement was the generated code which is easier to read and debug at runtime that means there is means the build after creating the build it was having a code which was very easy to read and also debug at the runtime that means by using any logs or something okay and it was also having faster rebuild time it was having also like improved payload size okay it was also having like improved template type checking and it was also having backward compatibility that means angular 7 and earlier version of angular was also supported till angular 2 not angular 1 okay so after that google announced or released basically uh, angular 9 on 5 6 2020 uh, 2020 and in this it was having like a lot of again improvement and most of those improvements were related to ivy compiler compiler okay so basically it moved all the application and it recommended i mean or you can see it forced users to use ivy compiler okay at runtime by default and it also started working or support with the type scripts 3.6 and 3.7 version so there were a lot of uh, advantage of IBY compiler for which Angular was trying to uh, push users to use it. Okay, so that was the main advantage was like you can see here, it was having a smaller bundle size when we, I mean, user will try to like build or create a release for the application. And it was also having the faster testing. It was also having better debugging uh, like tools. It was also having improved CSS class and style binding. It was also having better type checking better building errors okay better like uh, you can say build times to enable aot by default aot is also a compiler which is known as ahead of time compiler so by default it was having the improvement on aot as well okay so it was also having improved internationalization internationalization means support of multiple language depends uh, on the basis of their countries okay so, so for example it in india we are having multiple languages like hindi english okay like us punjabi urdu gujarati marathi bengali okay so on the basis of that it was having support for all multiple language and also uh, and it's just a national thing uh, in india but yeah uh, if we go outside of india then like it was having german support and also like uh, like different languages can be spoken in the like china or any other countries like uh, 
in in france it was we means the over there people generally use french okay so also they were having the support of french german spanish for multiple languages basically it was having the support okay so after angular 9 google introduced angular 10 on june 24 after i mean in 2020 so just after few months you can see after few months of after, like angular angular 9 uh, google introduced angular 10 on june 24 so after fab you can see fab i mean after fab in the june again it introduced a new version of angular so there were a lot of also improvements in this version also as well you can see there was new update range picker in the material ui library there was also warning about common js import okay there was also optional stricter setting there is also like keeping up to date with the ecosystem there was this mechanism over there okay there was also new default browser configuration there are also deprecations and removals of few uh, like features or we can say tools which are not which were not generally being used at the time okay so after angular 10 google introduced or basically released angular 11 in the same year november 11 2020 okay so in this they are also again having a lot of few new features and updates so the first was updated hot module replacement which was okay which is having hmr support and there was one more update which was operation by log there was again there was one more update which is related to automatic inlining of fonts and also there was update of component test harness it was also having updated language service preview it was also having faster builds and experimental webpack patch support it was having and this is the first uh, version of angular which moved towards the eslint support okay and after that google introduced angular 12 in may 12 2021 okay so in this there was first uh, new changes was it, it started like uh, deprecation support for angular sorry in internet explorer browser okay and from angular 12 it is mandatory to use iby okay uh, and also it uh, like uh, it said that view engine which was the older one okay so it that is declared as a dep deprecated means user can use that but it, that will be no longer supported by google okay or angular and the next thing was ng api upgrade this was also a feature introduced with angular 12 and 10 sorry 12 and there was also improvement in the styling code okay so basically after angular 12 google introduced angular 13 in november 4 2021 so in this the first major change was view engine, in, in view engine is no longer available with angular okay it's complete completely removed now okay to make the completely and like complete angular edge clear and move allow you to move only with one direction okay with the ibi support so now next thing was it was having changes to angular package format it was also like a, from this version of angular angular 13 internet explorer support is completely removed so that uh, it can be make made as a faster rendering because for uh, support of internet export they were also having a lot of things which need to take care in the angular okay so that's why uh, like google google thought that it should be removed guys and they, they are very there are very less users uh, who are using internet explorer nowadays okay so now the next big thing was the typescript 4.4 support with angular 13 and also uh, it also allowed like this a node.js version uh, prior to 12.20 are no longer supported that means you are now you uh, you to latest version of angular which is later released uh, up means with the 13 or 13 something version okay and it was also having the uh, improvement over version 7.4 support okay for rsgs it was also having a one change related to router for routing the components okay it was also having enhancement in the angular ci com cli commands okay it was also having improvement then again in the testing okay and also it was having like support with the dynamic components 
okay so in the then after angular 13 google released angular 14 in june 2022 so the major updates was like it was having feature of standalone components that means component will not uh, like component can be independent with the ng modules okay completely you know, in angular 14 it was also having type forms it was also having a streamlined page title accessibility accessibility it was also it is also having like uh, extended developer diagnostics okay so that will include ng compilation okay so now it is uh, it was also introduced like uh, sorry angular 14 introduced bind to protected component mem members it also introduced optional injector in the embedded view and it also introduced ng model on ng sorry ng model on push event basically okay so these are the these are the new features introduced in angular 14 so So I hope you got some uh, new information from this video related to Angular history. So basically, to uh, show you all these features with Angular, I mean for Angular, related to Angular, was the, to so that you can understand it properly with the uh, how like Android, uh, Angular got changed with time to time, uh, like from 2010 to nowadays in 2022, so that you can better better relate the things or the functionalities which were earlier available in angular and now that those things are not available or uh, those things are deprecated now so yeah this is all guys in this video so now next thing i leave you leave it on you guys to explore more about the new features introduced in angular 14 because uh, this is the main version which you we are going to use okay which is the current version or for or also i will say the same thing for angular 13 but yeah, still i would say that you know, use nowadays if you're going to create any application then use angular 14. okay so yeah thanks that is all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you